Massospondylus, meaning longer vertebrae, was a genus of early sauropodomorph dinosaurs that lived in Africa during the early Jurassic period around 200 million years ago. It was a medium-sized sauropodomorph or prosauropod that had a shorter and lower head than its European relative Platyosaurus. It measured 4 to 6 meters in length and weighed a ton in weight. The first fossil remains of Massospondylus were discovered in South Africa and described by Sir Richard Owen in 1854. Massospondylus is known from 80 partial skeletons, and is therefore one of the best known of the early Jurassic sauropodomorphs. Its fossil remains have been discovered in different locations in southern Africa, including Lesotho, Namibia and Zimbabwe. Some prosauropod fossil remains discovered in North America were once thought to belong to this genus, but have since been assigned to other genera. A nest of fossilized dinosaur eggs has also been assigned to the Massospondylus genus. Massospondylus had an elongated skeleton, and a relatively small head, shallow rib cage and more slender limbs compared to more robust prosauropods such as Platyosaurus and Lufengosaurus. It is possible that it represents an evolutionary stage intermediate between more archaic species such as Ankosaurus and the larger, and more robust forms. Massospondylus had varied teeth, and an unusual projecting upper jaw. This has led to suggestions that its lower jaw ended in a beak, although other features of its jaw make this unlikely. Massospondylus also had a long and flexible neck, allowing it to graze on tree branches, unlike other contemporary reptilian plant eaters. Massospondylus is thought to have inhabited wooded floodplains. It shared its habitat with other types of reptiles, including turtles and pterosaurs. There were also other dinosaurs around, including theropods and primitive ornithischians such as Lesotosaurus. There were also cynodonts and early mammal species. Massospondylus had a narrow head and bulky body, which suggests it was a herbivore. However it is not impossible that these animals were also omnivorous, perhaps feeding on insects on occasion. In 1981 a scientist proposed that Massopondylus and other early sauropodomorphs were carnivorous based on the tall robust front teeth, which were ridged like the blades of a steak knife. Other features that suggested carnivory were the lack of wear on the teeth compared to other contemporary plant eaters like Lesotosaurus. The skull was also thought to have been too weak to munch on fibrous plant material. In 1985 other paleontologists suggested that Massospondylus had cropped and chewed up plants such as leaves in a similar way as modern-day iguanas. Scientists have also discovered small pebble stones called gastroliths in several Massospondylus skeletons. These pebbles were swallowed by plant-eating dinosaurs to assist the gut in mashing plant material to break down its enzymes for digestion. Massospondylus possessed vicious-looking thumb claws, which resembled those of theropods, but they could have been used as tools for digging up plants or defending itself from predators.